Costello certainly knows how to run a nightclub. No wonder this place is popular. The music's just right, the food's excellent, and... And the charges make me wonder if I'm eligible for martial aid. <laughs> now, look here, Joan. This is the fourth night we've been here in a week. Much as I respect your hunches, this one's creating a major financial crisis in my life. Don't forget I'm just a plain copper, not a 22 garret West End playboy. We just can't afford to go on like this. If we can break up Costello's racket, Inspector Wilson will get you a grant that'll fill your money box right up again. Maybe. What if it doesn't come off? Faint heart. Come on, brush your moustache up at the ends, my sweet. It's drooping. Well, so are my spirits. Shh. Here comes Costello again. Now, give me those dice. And remember, you're a little bit under the weather, uh, and I'm gold digging you for all I'm worth. Don't forget, money doesn't mean a thing to you. Uh-uh. Here goes my superannuation. Look out. <laughs> now, come on, darling. It's ten pounds you owe me. I'll roll you double or quits. Let's raise the stakes, baby. I tell you what, I'll give you ten fivers to a little kiss. I'll beat you in one straight throw. Oh, <laughs> taken, sweetheart. You throw first. Come on now, you dice. Give Daddy a round dozen. A three and a two, five to beat. Mm. Hand those birds over to an expert, honey. Oh. There you are, six and three and nine. Yeah. Pay off, good looking. Uh, uh, Hasn't break the law. What's that? Oh, you, Mr. Costello. Now, don't bring me bad luck. I'm winning. My dear young lady, think of my reputation. You shouldn't pass money over the table. What a country. A man can't have a pen a half of the flutter without breaking the law. Well, not here anyhow, sir. If you want to gamble, surely you can arrange a game. Uh, among your friends, you must have plenty. Yeah, but they're all in South America. I've just come home after five years there. Yes, I came to the wrong country. There's nothing to spend your money on here. Oh, it's always me, darling. Oh, oh sure, 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 Angel. Yeah. Let's roll them again for the same stakes. You're on. Yes, but please keep the money out of sight. You, you wouldn't like to get me into trouble, would you now? Wouldn't I, your rat? That's what you think. Take it easy, Archie. I think he swallowed the bait this time. About time, too. We spent nearly 20 pounds in four nights, Joan. There's only about 12 pounds left of the 30 I drew out. Oh, it looks a lot more anyhow rolled around that tissue paper. Keep it rolled up, and when you get the bill, just peel off the outside note as if there was no end to it. Oh, we're very close to the end. Oh, cheer up, Rockefeller. But look, what did I tell you? Costello's bought it. Here comes Joker. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir, but uh, Mr. Costello was telling me you'd like to chance your luck. It all depends on the game. Why? Well, I thought you might be interested in a game that a few of my friends are running over in Marylebone tonight. It's uh, a quiet little party. You and your young lady would be welcome, I'm sure. Hello? Hello, is that Inspector Wilson? This is PC-49, sir. 49, sir. F for 40, N for that. That's right, sir. Yes, I, I know it's late, sir. 12.25 a.m., exactly. Yes, sir, I'll get on with it at once. Sir, I'm phoning from the bar sinister in German Street. Ace Costello's place. Costello, sir. Oh, my nice. sainted down. Costello, sir. C for chump, O for outlaw, S for stinker, T for thief, the... Eve, yes, sir, Costello. I've discovered he's running a big gambling party tonight. But I do know, sir. I've been invited. Yes, truly I have, sir. But, sir, it's in our division. I beg your pardon, sir. Your division. Yes, sir. Joker Marks has just given me the address. Yes, sir. Ready, sir? The party's taking place at the Villa Rouge, Latchford Row, NW8. That's right, sir. Villa Rouge. Yes, I will, sir. I'll stick to them like glue till you arrive. Happy hunting, sir. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Goodbye, sir. What did he say? You're too young to hear. But I gather that if it doesn't come off, he'll scalp me, among other things. He was just going home to bed. Oh, come on, then. Let's get out of this place. We'll take a taxi over to the Villa Rouge at once. I've got a feeling this is our lucky night. Lucky? Do you know how much that bill was downstairs? Seven quid. Well, never mind. You've got five left. But Joan. Shh. Easy now. Here comes our old friend Joker. Put the act on, Archie. Ready to go, Mr. Barkley Willoughby? Just on the way to get a taxi, pal. Oh, no need for a taxi. I'll run you over. The car's right outside. Uh, this way. Well, 
You're going to like these people. They're all good sports. Win, lose, or break even, it's all the same to them. There's a game on somewhere almost every night, you know, if you're interested. Oh, we certainly are, aren't we, darling? I say, you, you've taken the wrong turn. Mary Burns over the other side of the park. Oh, that's all right. There's been a last-minute change in plans. We've always got an alternative pitch ready in case anything goes wrong. And uh, has anything gone wrong? Oh, nothing serious. The policeman on duty in Latchford Row saw our van arrive. You know, the van with all our gear. Oh. He was a nosy sort of customer and started asking awkward questions. So we decided to play at another place in Arcadia Road. That's just over behind Primrose Hill. But you said the Villa Rouge. Ah, don't you worry, Mr. Barkley Willoughby. Everything will be in order by the time we arrive. It's wonderful oh, what you can... Shut up, Archie. <laughs> you were saying? Ah, I was just saying it's wonderful what you can do with a little bit of organisation. What's he babbling about, Archie? That man at the roulette wheel. Well, that's a croupier. He's telling him to place their bets. Oh. Not playing yet, Mr. Barkley, will it be? Just looking round till I get my bearings. Oh, I'll see. I'll play later. Say, say, what if the police raid this place? They won't, sir. Still, we've got even that organised. A system of warning bells and two tough boys on the door to delay them. And even if they go to the front and back doors, we can still nip out through the passage to a side door leading it to Chantry Lane. Chantry Lane? That's at the side of the house, is it? That's right, miss. You've certainly got it organised. Oh, it doesn't take much brains to outwit the police. They're all pretty dumb. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, by the way, don't go thirsty. There's plenty of champagne over at the Buffy, all on the house. And if you want to buy chips, see me. The blues are ten pounds each, the reds are fifty, and the yellows are hundred. Well... See you later. Tenors, fifties and hundreds. And here's me, with exactly five quid. And Inspector Wilson waiting outside the villa room. Don't rub it in. If only we could get the phone and tell him to raid this place instead. We dared risk it yet. That man Duff is still watching us. The little blight has been telling me ever since we arrived here. I don't think you suspect anything. It's just because we're strangers and they've got to be careful. Well, we can't do anything on our own. There's too many of them. Oh, Lord. Wilson will kill me for this. Don't give up, Chairman. Here, give me that last loan fiver of yours. Of oh, course. I put five pounds in my bag just in case. <laughs> You're not going to gamble our last ten pounds away. We can't stay on here without playing. Joker will smell a rat. And I've a feeling Fortune's going to give us a nice big smile. Come on, give to little Joni. Joan, do you realize this ridiculous business has cost me nearly thirty pounds in four days? Archie. Oh, all right. Here you are. In for a penny, in for a... Thirty pounds. <laughs> Shall be long, darling. I'm going to find Joker and buy you one dear little blue chip to play with. Looks like a washout, Inspector. We've been here over an hour. We've got men at every entrance and no sign of anything doing. Villa Rouge, he says. His face will be rouge before I've done with him. Send the vans and the men back to headquarters, right? I'll drop you back and then get home for some sleep. I'm fagged out. Okay, sir. There's something fishy about this, though. We don't generally get a wrong steer from 49. 49. Uh, four and nine total 13. A nice unlucky number for me. Number 13. The tall gentleman wins again. I say, do I really? That's the fifth time. This looks like a coup, all right. Let's stay and watch. Are you leaving your stake, sir? Take it out, Archie. Quite jump. Yes, let us try it again. Thirteen's my lucky number. Archie, there's a phone in the powder room. I'm going to take a chance and phone your station while they're all watching you. Hey, wait. What? You got to watch? Keep winning, darling. Monsieur et madame, faites vos jeux. All right, Bash, open up. That's a boss's knock. Okay. Hello, Ace. Hi there, Duppy. Where's Joker? Ah, oh, there you are. Hi, oh, thank God you've come, Ace. Well, what's wrong? Wrong? That don't be looking mug you sold me tonight's upstairs, and he's taking us for the biggest ride in gambling history. What do you mean? He lifted 900 quids with the chips in that shammy game, and then. What? Wait, wait, there's more to it. He's just taken five natural 13s of roulette. I had to limit the game, or he'd have broken the bank. As it is, he's won about 90% of the chips in the house. We owe him a fortune. Oh, didn't you fix the wheel? Yeah, it was fixed all right, but that mug's not such a mug as you'd think. He ran his fingers along under the table and snapped the wire. How do you know? I dropped a chip and crawled under to see what was going on. Mm, wise guy, eh? Okay, we'll fix him. When he wants to cash in, send him up to my office. 
I'll pay him off in person. No, I won't come in right. I've been on the go since seven this morning. Okay, sir. And leave instructions at the deck that I want to see PC-49 as soon as he comes on tomorrow. I will, sir. Uh, excuse me, Sarge. Desk Sergeant sent me out with this message for the DDI. What is it, Constable? Uh, a Miss Joan Carr rang up five minutes ago to say there's nothing doing at the Villa Rouge, but the game is now in progress at Curfew House, Arcadia Avenue, Primrose Hill. Oh, my Lord. Come on, right. Get going again. Yes, sir. What? You ain't going home without your boyfriend, are you, miss? Oh, he's forgotten. He's too busy gambling. Anyway, I've got a headache. Come on, open up. Well, I don't know as I ought. What is this, a jail? That's Charlie's knock. See what he wants, Basher. What do you want, Charlie? I'm sick and tired of sitting out in that drive in that there van. I want a drink. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, wait a minute, you. Oh, let us go. Good night. Gosh, it's dark. Now, where have they parked it? Ah. Now, I've never driven a van before. Oh, five gears. Oh, my Sunday hat. <laughs> 